Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Andres and I am so happy to be back. It's been a while since I've made my last video. Um, just a lot been happening like always. I am a mom of three. I'm working full time. Coronavirus is still in the air and in fact I'm actually quarantined because my kids, one of my kids was in close contact with a student in his school so I have to quarantine this whole week until I get tested so life happens but i really do want to get back on the grind i really do want to get back doing my videos as much as possible when you're more organized with your your goals and you write them down on paper and you kind of make like a weekly schedule you're more able to like accomplish those goals than as if they were like all in your head and just all over the place and then you know obviously the little devil on your shoulder is like just eat whatever you want. No. While the little angel over here is like fighting like, no, no, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. So you're constantly like in a battle. But for sure, I'm gonna buy me a journal. I'm gonna buy me some type of like calendar scheduling book or something for just my YouTube and my social media. That way it can help me kind of like boost up and grow my channel. Speaking of growing my channel, if you are new, which a lot of you are, and you have not hit that subscribe button, don't be shy, it's completely free. Your girl is trying to help you out, you know? So if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. Today I am going to bring you a video that is very highly requested and it is about my fajas and what type of fajas that I'll be using and how I use them and what it is that I also use underneath for compression. But I hear a lot of dolls saying yeah, well, I only use my faja one month after surgery and then I'm done or I just used it you know, two months after surgery and then I'm done. And, but then they're only still using that one stage faja that didn't even get into a stage two faja and they think you know it's okay for them to do that i mean i don't know everyone is different everybody's body type heals differently but for me personally from my first round i've learned a lot and i feel like i need to wear my faja at least six months up to a year if i could i've been wearing my faja 23 hours a day the only time i do not wear my faja is if i am going to take a shower as soon as i'm done with my shower i alternate my fajas and then just put on whatever it is that i'm gonna put on to go to sleep or to go to work or whatever it is that i'm doing throughout the day there are three stage fajas the first one is the one that you get out when you obviously are off the table you know plastic surgery you're off the table they give you a faja that is that's your stage one faja it's not as you know like support like there's not a lot of um compression in that faja it's just like just a little just enough you know for after surgery you use that faja only up to a week maybe two weeks depending on what your surgeon says after that you use your stage two faja which you can also purchase at your plastic surgeon's office or you can go to a I would say a boutique that sells fajas and they're very knowledgeable when it comes to fajas and sizes and all that stuff so all my fajas that i have with me except for my uh, stage three faja i've purchased in the dr so the first one and I'm also going to show you guys how, did, how it is that I put on my faja. I am wearing like a two-piece, like a shorts and like uh, a bralette. Because I know YouTube is very strict when it comes to, I guess, showing a lot. And lately, when I show a little bit too much, I've been getting demonetized or slightly getting demonetized. So I really don't want that. So if you don't already, please follow me on my surgery Instagram, which I'm going to leave right down here. And you can also follow me on my regular Instagram, which I constantly post just my normal everyday stuff on there too, if you like me and my personality. Yeah, this is your stage two faja that you get after you're done with your stage one. And you can get this at your plastic surgeon's office or a boutique, like I said, that is knowledgeable when it comes to fajas and all that stuff. Um, so Duran charged me $150 for this one. And a lot of people are asking me, is it mandatory for you to get her fajas? Well, yes and no, okay? You don't have to, but they highly, highly do have like an attitude when you say you don't want their faja and they're like, yeah, you need to, you know, buy your faja. So save yourself the drama and just get the faja because you're obviously going to need more than one. So this one is $150. The only thing I don't like about these, this is called fajate. I don't know if, you know, it's very... Uh, in the surgery community, women that, you know, get surgery in DR, they're very known for this brand, I guess. Fajate and then the Alexander Faja, which I'm gonna show you a little bit, in a little bit. So this is the Fajate. The only thing I don't like about it is the, I don't know if I said it already, but it compresses your hips a little bit. 
part right here is not as restricting so i wish that was a little bit more open that way your butt can kind of like come out through the sides if you know what i mean so that's one thing i didn't like it's not as big also these right here these straps i'm gonna show you in a little bit but i've been getting burnt <laughs> So, or like right here all that dark right there that you see is from these straps so I recommend you if you wear these put foams underneath and then have the straps right like lay right on top like this or you could wear a short sleeve shirt a thin short sleeve shirt cotton and then just have the straps on top so I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit how to put that one on because I'm gonna demonstrate with this one since that one is more known in the surgery community when you know you come off i mean when you have your stage two faha and you guys can get to see my body i'm almost six months post-op on the 18th all right this is what i am looking like so far and i weigh 152 pounds so again i gained a little bit of weight that i'm trying to like knock off but Yep, this is what I'm looking like. I'm gonna show you guys my scar. Alright, so this is what my scar is looking like, you guys. Every day I be putting on bio oil and I got this off Amazon. So every night I just put on my bio oil and in the morning twice a day. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. That's one of my lipo holes. So I put right there on my lipo holes anywhere i have a lipo hole and on my scar area i'd be putting bio oil and this is what my belly button be looking like <laughs> i have a lipo hole back there too so anywhere i have holes i'd be putting my bio oil and just massaging so for massaging let me just say real quick before i put on my fajas and my boards i use this to massage my stomach and i got this off amazon it's called mona Mona RX and it comes with cups like cupping so you could do cupping on your stomach and you can do this and basically it tells you you need to have oil on your stomach before you do anything like this and then you just massage 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 it's a little uncomfortable especially down here where I'm very sensitive near the scar so you just massage all around massage 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 you can also do this behind your legs on your back I love this this is so good so another one that I use, I do do my own massages. I don't go to any lady up here because it's expensive and I just don't, I don't know. It's $60 per massage, which is in DR, I was paying like $35 per massage, but we'll see, I don't know. And so this is what I've been using and I just roll. So I roll my stomach every night before I go to bed and put on all my massages. I mean, all my pads and stuff, I just roll, 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 and I do my massages this way. I do the sides as well. And then I do the other side. And you can also do your back. And I do my back like this. What this helps is to make sure that your skin kind of contracts back, you know, back to its normal state. Because obviously when you have a tummy tuck, your skin is lifted up and you get cut and then, you know they sew you back up and all that stuff so you this helps and that as well and also with the massaging kind of have help your skin get back together but it's so good when it comes to flattening right here especially on the bottom where i used to drain right there i used to have a lot of liquid formation there so that's helped with the compression to put that down or to bring it down as flat as possible so the only reason why I'm wearing this two-piece is because I do not want you to, to demonetize me. So you want to wear a tank top underneath, a cotton tank top, preferably something that doesn't have any ridges or like if it does have some type of ridge you can wear it inside out. That way you can leave your skin nice and smooth. Before we get to putting on the fajas, let me show you guys the lipo foams. I'm pretty sure if you've been following me on the pack with me video, I showed you the lipo foams, but I got some more. And yes, these used to be white. I wash them by hand once a week with antibacterial soap, and then I just rinse, uh, wring it out, and then let them dry on one of these uh, heating stuff, or just let it air dry. But yes, you want to use your pads. Also, these pads I cut them in half for my sides, so these are the ones that are cut in half. 
and then the little ones like this one and this one I sometimes use like up here underneath my breast because sometimes uh, the ab board that I use can like be pressing into my like underneath my breast or right down here too so you want to make sure that your foams are like you know a certain length so I got my lipo foams I got this ab board which is a butterfly ab board I got it from the Tributo uh, website where I got my third stage 3 faja so this is a ab board from Tributo Mujer and then I have my bag board which I got it off Amazon if you saw my pack with me video Mindy and this is the backboard they also have ab boards but um I didn't like it I felt like it was a, a bit small I didn't like it as much so I like this one because this one's a lot bigger and it you know they have different sizes too for this one so I think this is the large I think they have a small medium as well and extra large if I'm not mistaken so I have that as well I also have my corset or my waist trainers when I'm not wearing a faja like if I'm washing all of my fajas I wear a waist trainer so I always make sure that I'm compressing no matter what and I have this one right here let me show you guys I also got this on the Amazon which is I think a waist trainer right it's Miss Bell or the company is Miss Bell but this you can put your faja and if you feel like your faja is still a little bit too loose you can put one of these on top and basically it'll just you know just tighten it and it'll give you that extra compression that you need with everything else that you have that I just showed you so you have that compression and this is pretty tight like I've worn this a couple times because I felt like my Alexander Faha I need to get it taken in by two inches so I feel like that's gotten a little uh, big on me the Alexander Faha so I've been using that thing that you just saw that butterfly compression thing that you just saw okay. I'm gonna put on my Faha, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. It's a little pain in the ass. Hopefully, this goes up okay with these pants. Again, you wanna wear a tank top, a cotton tank top, or a t shirt, a cotton t shirt with this Faha. Yeah, it's gonna give me a hard time with these shorts. I wanna make sure you guys see how I put it on. All right. And plus, when you get to the R, they're going to show you how to put it on. So you never want to grab them from like up here when you put them on. When you put them on, you kind of want to like, you know, start from the bottom and then pull up. Start from the bottom like this and then pull up. You don't want to just pull up from here because you don't want to risk having your faja like break on you. Get up, right? You make sure you adjust it. All around make sure the inseams right here on the outside of the legs are in just like that all right make sure your butt is all the way in on both sides okay and that the line is in the middle right there so that's how it should look all right so after you do that you get your ab board again you need a tank top because your skin needs to be covered <laughs> so i'm only wearing this for video purposes so you get your ad board and you put it in and you want to make sure that the tip this tip right here is at the tip where your butt starts where your butt crack starts butt crack all right can't find my butt crack right there all right so that's where your ad board should be okay so after you got your ad board in, you get your two sides of your foam and you put one side here and it should cover up to there, right there where your like breast line is. Same thing on the other side, make sure you put in your, your foam and again it should cover basically right there where your breasts start okay so once you have your foams in then you could put in your sleeves Not really a bitch, but i'm getting swollen because i've been out of my power for an hour in dr they're gonna 
pack you up with maxi pads the poise extra large like super absorbent maxi pads and they make it into like they take three and they make it like this like a, a foam basically so you can do that or they'll do that for you in dr and then they'll just put it on you so you could do that first all around but all this is going to go on top of your uh tank top so you have the maxi pads that are built in three or you can also build them in twos put them on your sides put them on your front then you can put your lipo foams if you want so that's more compression i don't do all of that extra compression like i feel like the compression that i do is enough for me it's enough that i can handle you know what i mean in a, in in a way it's not meant for you to be a hundred percent uncomfortable but somewhat uncomfortable all right so you have your two boards or your two foams right and for me they go like this upwards so you want to make sure that it covers a little bit just a little bit above your private area right there just a little whoops and then obviously a little bit underneath your breast area so i do two just for like i said for that extra compression and then i do my butterfly board on top so this you see how it's a little bit more rounder on the bottom and the top is a little bit further, like a little bit longer. So this part goes up. And again, you wanna put it where it's a little bit, just a little bit above your private part. All right, so once all that is in, now it's the hard part is where you start putting the hooks on. You're probably not going to be able to do this on your own, especially if you had arm alipo because you're not going to have that arm strength or if you had your breast done, you're going to need help. Please let them help you, whoever's helping you out in DR. And then when you obviously when you come back home, whoever helps you out at home, please let them help you because it is a lot of work and a lot of using your arm muscle. And then especially if you have your breast done. So when I put my butterfly board, I make sure that it goes on top of this lipo foam right here on that side and same thing like this on that side and then you just cinch oh my God. and it's hard Okay, so I got it in. Ta -da! So this one has a hole underneath that obviously you can go and pee. What I do is I just tuck it in for now. And there you go, so it's tucked in. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. Okay, so I have all my foams in. You know, you're gonna look a little square, it's okay. It's doing its job though. There's the, the backboard. I feel like the backboard fell. <laughs> Whoops. It's not supposed to be that low. It's supposed to be like on the tip of your butt. Push it up. Right there. That's where it's supposed to be right there at the tip of my bum right there i'm gonna be completely honest the only time i wear the backboard is when i go to bed throughout the day i don't wear it because with all the movement moving here moving there it tends to like ride up and then by the time i'm like done doing whatever it is i'm doing it's usually coming out behind my back so i just wear it to go to sleep but everything else i do put on throughout the day extra protection for you but yeah this is what it looks like when you wear your fajate all right so i got my measuring tape because i'm like shit <laughs> i need a measure yep for everything inside my faja i am 30 inches around the waist and i am a 
44 for my hips. So obviously I'm gonna take all of this off and I'm gonna measure, I'm measure everything without all the stuff underneath. Let me pull down my pants because I think my pants are getting in the way. I have a mirror over here on the side too. All right, right above my belly button. And I'm gonna say 26. Yeah, it's not too tight, so 26. Now for my butt. It was 44 in the Baja. Make sure I got the right measurements. Whoops. Shoot. And it's 43 and a half to our butt ratio. So 43. 26 or 25 and a half 26 43 that is my measurements so i'm gonna show you guys my alexander faja which is another one that's very popular in the dr what i like about the alexander faja is that they take your measurements like i just did and they customize your faja so you choose the faja that you want and then they customize it to your body and your shape the only thing is is that when you get this faja in the dr you obviously you're gonna be very swollen so when you get the one that they customize for you in the Dominican Republic when you come back I feel like in a month or maybe less than a month you guys are gonna have to take it in somewhere to get it altered and at least take a couple inches off because they're basically measuring you while you're still swollen you know what I mean so obviously every week you're gonna be losing uh, inches they're gonna keep on losing inches and keep on losing swelling and by the time you guys probably get to the states or like a month later it's going to be a little bit loose on you so i recommend you guys take it in or like i showed you you can get one of these and then just kind of like you know work your way into you know cinching it i guess yourself or you can get a waist trainer you can put the waist trainer on top and just you know also work your way into you know cinching just your waist your faja your waist on that as well so i'm gonna put this on i'm not gonna show you guys how i put it on because it's the same way as me putting on my fajate with all the boards and stuff i don't you know change up any routines on that so i'm just gonna put that on real quick and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i have it on okay so i am wearing the alexander faja this one as you can see is a lot different because it doesn't have the thin straps uh this one was actually recommended to me by the my massage lady and obviously you know if you have your breast done this is the type of faja that you'd be wearing down there so when i get my breast done i can take this same faja and just have it altered you know to my size what it is that you know i'm gonna be when i'm down there so again this upper part right here it is super soft it is almost like the same material that you have on your bum area that it just it like it stretches the same material on the body you know as the fajate only thing is like i said is you know customized to your shape so this one i enjoyed a lot more than i did with the fajate i feel like right here there's not as there's not as much compression to the hips this is the part that i mean like it's more wide over here it's not it's basically all faja coming down your hips so this one doesn't compress your hips this one lets your hips breathe. And you can even see my lipo foam <laughs> peeking through on the side. It slipped down a little bit. But um, yeah, this is what I meant by like having it more of an open butt. This is the one that I enjoyed a lot more when I was in DR. And as you can see, it's already been customized a couple times. I think I customized it like three times. And I feel like it's getting a little loose on me now. So here's my backboard, as you can see. And my my booty how it's shaped and i think it'll give me let's see it's like a circle yeah it'll give me like the same Mommy, measurements like basically this is 30 30 inches it's like so a circle. 
It's like a circle. Yeah, Brian, it's like a circle. You guys hear my son in the background? He wanted to join the party. And 44 for the bottom. 44 and a half, actually. Yep, 44 and a half for the bottom. So, this was my favorite. And the fajate, obviously, you know, it's good to have more than one faja. That way, when you're washing this one, I could be in that one and then vice versa. Like I said, if I find that this one's not compressing as much and I find it that it's a little bit loose, then I'll put this on. So, if I put it on and then just tighten it as much as I can on the side. And that'll help me compress a little bit more. And give me that small waist in the back so this is my tributo faja i found them on instagram when i came back from this uh the dominican republic and this is a stage three compression garment none of these this one or the faja they have rods this one does have rods so this is your stage three this mid length uh leg and this one has four hooks and this one is super like super tight i'm gonna show you guys also i chose the one with the bra because obviously i like you know that it's comfortable and it doesn't leave me marks like the faja they one did the only thing with this faja is you don't have to compress because obviously it already has the rods and all that stuff so to protect my sides and obviously the front of my stomach make sure that it doesn't indent i still put my lipo foams on my sides and my lipo foam on the front with the butterfly ab board but i don't overdo it i just put one lipo foam and then the ab board on the top i'm gonna show you guys real quick all right so i have my foams on my sides and then i have my foam on the bottom just one and then i have the butterfly ab board i'm not gonna lie if you just wear this by itself it's gonna oh it's upside down if you wear this by itself you, whenever you bend down it's gonna like poke you and it's not a good feeling it's very uncomfortable so i don't know how some women just do it with the ab board by itself because this right here it's so uncomfortable it's, it feels like it's digging into my my ribs so i just like to wear the foam on top and obviously if it doesn't reach i have like i said before my little small foams and just put a little extra and put it right there so whenever i'm bending down it just it bends down into the foam it doesn't hurt as much for me so again you put the foam in this is how i do it i make sure it goes on top of my side foam i am not ready to like move on to the second or third or fourth hook i don't even think i can reach the fourth hook to be honest this faja i bought it in tributo mujer and it cost me oh i forgot to tell you guys how much the alexander faja cost me it was 180 dollars this one cost me 230 dollars again what i love about this faja is that it's extra high compression there's no um compression around the hips or the butt i'm gonna show you guys the butt in a little bit let me just fix it make sure that's fixed it has the the opening on the bottom and look at that i think i showed you guys before like the compression on the back and the waist look at that waist you guys so this is your stage three faja and i'm gonna measure without any foams or boards underneath i measure a 24 inch waist with this faja alone without any forms foams or anything underneath what is that but with my mean? foams and stuff underneath i'm measuring what? i'm measuring a 26 <laughs> and a half I did. and then my butt area with this faja on i'm measuring actually a 44 so this is my favorite stage three faja i am going to get another one thing um when I get my second one, I'll just, you know, wait three months until all my swelling is down to get another tributo faja because these are expensive. Okay, when it comes to faja, this video is going to be super long, but hopefully it is super informative for you guys and hopefully it answers a lot of your questions. As I only have three fajas and I alternate on them. This is the one that I usually wear when I go to work. And if I'm not wearing this one, I alternate it with the fajate one. So... 
and then the alexander one since it's a little bit loose i only wear that one to go to sleep i don't wear it to go out i am having surgery i am confirmed i am going to have surgery in july chosen dr disla cynthia disla uh, she does breast work all the other doctors that i was searching were way too pricey they were charging me almost like eight thousand nine thousand dollars with like you know everything else that i have to buy medication and all that stuff i'm looking closely to like almost ten thousand dollars and i'm like for my third round i'm not going to be paying almost ten thousand dollars when i could just get my breast done here in the united states so i chose this lab because she's pretty consistent when it comes to her breast work the only thing is is that there are dolls that are a little bit sketchy with her because um she's been having some infections and she burned a couple dolls and this last doll she like really burned her and i'm not blaming the doll and i'm not gonna say i'm gonna blame the doctor but they're both at fault the doll is at fault because she went into surgery supposedly a little too soon she had a tummy tuck and then she wanted to go and then have lipo basically done on top of her tummy tuck incisions that she had like three months earlier you know and the doctor knowing this information i guess decided to operate on her regardless so supposedly in her words the doctor says the body takes three months to heal but i feel like your body needs more than three months to heal especially if you had a tummy tuck that's a huge incision that you know that you have from here to here and you're lifted and then sewed back in and then for you to have lipo on top of that incision that hasn't been fully healed back to normal i feel like um she should have never done it surgery is a risk regardless because i remember when i got my surgery with durang before you know i had my surgery she had burned a couple dolls and she also had one doll pass away um it supposedly wasn't her fault it was the anesthesia or whatever that something in her i guess she couldn't handle being un put under so i don't know 100 percent, but you know it does happen um even here in the states i've seen dolls that have either passed away or had burns or whatever you know surgery is a risk and it's a risk that you are signing up for so unfortunately it happens and i i you know i still plan on going to her uh there is another doll on here on youtube that i follow her name is nurse poison ivy so i'm following her journey she just recently got surgery like a couple days ago today's march what fourth so she got surgery like two three days ago with cynthia disla and as of now she's fine and she's getting basically what i want to get which is like arm lipo she got her breast done she had a breast lift i think with implants and she has some more lipo done so you know and she she's been like what a year now since she had her last surgery um for me i think it's gonna be almost not almost like maybe eight months into recovery maybe more than that like nine months into recovery yeah so you know to each their own i guess and hopefully fingers crossed i'm gonna pray that everything turns out great when i go into my surgery so if you really like this video please don't forget to hit a like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down below if you have any questions i'm pretty good at getting back to you guys if not follow me on my surgery instagram page or follow me on my regular page i'm gonna leave them linked on here all these products that i have like the foams the backboard the massaging thing and the rolling thing find them all on amazon i'm gonna try my hardest to link them down below as well just let me know what it is that you guys want to see down below and i'll try my hardest to you know get back to you guys so i'll see you in the next one bye